CFMEU's in the naughty corner. When is the CFMEU not in the naughty corner? The naughty corner is where the construction union does its best work. No television for a week. What? The Fair Work Ombudsman, that's the country's building watchdog, has just launched its first ever court prosecution of the union movement's problem child. The FWO took over the functions of the Australian Building and Construction Commission in 2022. It got busy after it emerged the average CFME worksite office looked more like a bikey clubhouse. A lot of outlaws on the payroll. So we're told. FWO has launched 33 investigations since July, most relate to alleged coercive behaviour by CFMEU officials. I'm going to make them an offer he can't refuse. 33 investigations, but this is the first time an ombudsman-initiated inquiry has made it to court. So what's the case all about? It's about a crane. Isn't that right, Tiny? <laughs> That's right! Said crane was owned by a company called FG Cranes. What's FG stand for? I have no idea. Good. The crane owned by f***ing good cranes was on a construction site in an Australian city whose corporate style has always been a little wild west. The CFMEU thought the crane was dodgy. According to the Fair Work Ombudsman, union official Stephen Parker appears to have thought something was wrong with it. Because at 12.05pm on November 27, 2023, he presented at the site gate of the 19-storey development by Multiplex. Steve-O was accompanied by a long-time up-late favourite. Edmund Montemargini is a CFMEU official who used to be an Albanian cage fighter before he became a member of the Sword Boys street gang. Why did Steve Parker want Monty there? Well, why wouldn't you want a former cage fighting Sword Boy gangster bikey standover man from Albania in your corner? Did you call moi a dipshit? Monty and Steve-O told site manager Adam Cherubino they were coming in. Clause 9 of the Fair Work Ombudsman Statement of Claim recounts what is said to have happened next. Parker said to Cherubino words to the effect that he wished to inspect the crane by climbing it. Words to the effect? It's a bit like when Gordon Ramsay says words to the effect of please cook the food better. Not as pissed as I am! You f***ing are! Donkey! I imagine the actual words used by the unionist at 12.05pm on November 27 were listen here you I'm coming to look at that f***ing good crane whether you f***ing like it or not. And then, according to the FWA transcript, Cherubino said to Parker words to the effect that he would not be permitted to climb the crane. Again, words to the effect. Actual words most likely being something like f*** off you stupid c you're not climbing the f***ing good crane. Whatever was said, the upshot was Parker climbed the 50 metre ladder to the top of the crane and knocked on the cabin. Here's Johnny! And then spent an hour inside the cabin with the operator. What were they doing for an hour? Who knows? <laughs> he eventually came back down and buggered off with Monty, but they came back the next day, this time with a union guy called Peter Joshua. And what was the matter now? Still the f***ing good crane. Power! Power! <laughs> but this time they seem to have an issue with the generator. Again, a lot of words to the effect were spoken. You're full of f***ing shit. The upshot of which were a f***ing good cranes technician came out, did some maintenance and confirmed the kit was f***ing good to go. And at half past three that afternoon, that's four hours after arriving on site, the CFMEU boys left. But the matter wasn't over. Fair Work Ombudsman investigation was launched and it's now alleged Parker acted illegally at various times on November 27 and November 28. And by extension, so did the CFMEU. But Monty wasn't charged. No, just Parker. Which is a relief for Mr Margini because he's already under investigation by the CFMEU administrator and is facing criminal charges over a home invasion 10 years ago. I'm Ben Harvey.